Would you believe me if I say that there's nothing wrong with my eyes, but I'm vision impaired? My name is Raphael, and I have a condition called Cerebral Vision Impairment, or CVI for short. CVI affects the way I see the world, not because of my eyes, but because of my brain. Normally, the eyes send electrical signals to the brain, which turns them into images we see. But for people with CVI, these signals get muddled. For me, that's because when I was born, my blood sugar level was low, and I developed a condition called hypoglycemia. A huge proportion of our brains are devoted to creating a picture inside our minds. That creation of the picture takes up at least 40% of the whole brain's visual function. People with normal vision can see multiple things at the same time. You probably can see several signs all at once, but I can only see one thing at a time. And the more stressed I get, the fewer things I can see. The thing with CVI is that you can't, it's really hard, it's like a miner's torch. So you're focusing on one thing at a time. And if you want to see something else in the scene, you take your vision away from where you were looking to another thing, but you may, then you don't know where the first thing was in relation to the second thing. The amount of information I have to process when I'm walking can be a challenge. Sometimes when people greet me on the street, I can't see them clearly. So if you think about it like the, the old computers when, when I was young, when that first came out, basically if you had too many applications open on, this, on the computer, they would freeze or you'd have to reboot the computer to start it again. So it's a little bit like that for people with CVI. Common social interactions can be a challenge for someone with CVI. That is why many people like myself are often mistakenly diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. The majority of people, though, have a problem with vision in which uh, they have difficulty interacting with other people. Uh, they are unable to find somebody in a group or see somebody in the distance because clutter is a big problem. I am learning how to live with CVI. When I am walking in an unfamiliar place, I look back every 10 seconds to collate landmarks to create a map in my mind. And I'm not the only one living with CVI. In the region of 3.5% has recently been found to have cerebral visual impairment. That's an enormous number of children. It's one child in every class. Yeah, I was having thoughts about that, actually. Acknowledging my disability has opened up my mind to new horizons. My disability doesn't define me. Raphael has come on a lot in the last uh, 12 months since he graduated and his, is the editor of our voice newsletter which goes out to over a thousand participants in our community. We can have... I studied and graduated from university with a journalism degree. Yeah. Now I am working as the editor of a newsletter surrounded by people who value my work and accept me for who I am.